Hi, John Barber from the Venus Index, and with me is Lauren Jacobson. She's a friend of mine, and she's competed. Um, I don't know what what category have you been, have you competed in? I compete in figure category uh, within the IFBB Amateur CBBF Amateur Division. Okay, so you've gone all the way to being on stage at shows like the Arnold, right? Yes, People heard the Arnold Sports Amateur. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Lauren's here to help us with some posing stuff. So it'd kind of be silly if I was doing the posing and. So Lauren's going to walk you through some of the standard poses we can do for, for the Venus competition. Um, they're not necessarily mandatory, but it's a good guide. So she's going to just walk you through some of the simple stuff. I mean, her just going to go back and forth and show you uh, examples of how to present yourself in your after pictures. Now, on top of what Lauren shows you, um, like some of it's just being creative, just do whatever you want. Like go through yep. magazines, like you do that too, right, don't you? Yeah, you can use magazines as um, a way to get inspiration for your photos, for your after photos, or if you're going to do a photo shoot. Um, simply just look for poses that you like or outfits that you like seeing on different girls. You know, use those as an example and then go and practice them on your own. Because that, like you do that, right? Yes. It's, it's, it's not any more structured or formal than that. You just find something you like. And you practice. Yeah. Right. And so you're not going to get it right the first time. And that's why you have to practice these things. You got to remember, models practice a lot. They put like hours and hours yeah. into that. Yeah. And um, from the people I know, they, they take like, a, I don't know what you do, but some of the guys I've worked with take a four to six week run and they start ramping up their posing practice. And every day they do 25, 30 minutes. And towards the end, they're doing like an hour a day, making sure they get all the poses right. Now, obviously, you don't have to go to that extent, but that's part of what models do just to make sure. Yeah, I mean, you have, like. you have to think too that um, when you're doing um, any posing for photography, if you're paying money for that photography, you want to make sure that you get the most out of your time. So practicing your posing ahead of time, understanding um, how your body looks and the best way to pose your body, it's all going to help and transcend on the day of your shoot. Right. And the final thing I'll say is some poses will work on your body and some poses won't. Yeah. And there's nothing you, it's not like a statement about you, it's just, or some poses will work from the left but not the right. It's it's something you'll discover as you're kind of moving moving around. And uh, me and Brad Pilon, we've done some photo shoots and we've realized that we have a good side and a bad side for certain position, poses. In some, in some instances, uh, I can do a pose that looks okay on me, but it kind of looks silly on him, and then vice versa, he can do one that looks great on him and doesn't look good on me at all. So you may cut one out of the magazine you really like, and you may try it and just be like, this just doesn't work on my body. Right. And you're just going to discover, because that happens with you guys too, right? There's just some things. It just well, you're going to get to know what, you know, um, how your body is and uh, what your best points are, and if you're you know, if you have great shoulders and a small waist, that's going to be extended in some uh, posing. But if you, you know, that you're more a bottom-heavy person, then you know, obviously the same poses aren't going to work for you. Right. So you got to work with what you got. I yes. guess what we're saying, you kind of you'll discover that as you test things out. So can you just walk us through some pretty basic poses that girls can do for like a front, a side, a back shot? Yeah. Just some relaxed stuff. Some some stuff we know that like you know the straight-on pose isn't the most flattering. So. Just give us a couple of real simple things that they could do. I'll just kind of step out of the okay. picture. Um, All right. So when you're doing your front pose, um, the standard even for your before and after pictures, um, it's just simply you want a slight flare in your shoulders. You always want to have your chest up and your shoulders back. Um, you don't want to over accentuate your back muscles by meaning you don't want to be in a lat pose. But you do want to flare them a little bit because any flare that you do get is going to create a small taper into your waistline. Mm -hmm. And that's going to create an illusion that regardless of the size of your waist, it's always going to look smaller. With your legs, you just want to have a slight um, bend in your knees and you want to concentrate on focusing on quad or your quads by um, um, but do you flexing them. Do you them? Flex them? Yeah. Just slightly flex them. Yeah. Um, with but you're not, you're not squeezing real hard. Just not, just, yeah. no, it's just a slight squeeze and then with the bottom part of your legs you want them to be close together um, your heels can be touching or if not um, it's just going to streamline your legs as soon as you bring them out it's going to take away from the streamline okay so it's a simple pose you know abs should be tight um, another thing is that some people tend to flex down and it might not look as good as um, sucking in so it just depends on what works best for your so, so it's just stand up in good posture and yep. work on the shoulders a bit there yep.
Now that's actually trickier. If someone's never tried that, that's a little trickier than they think. Yes. Um, you don't want to be like this. You don't want to flare your, your lats out. You just want a slight, you know, your hands should be slightly away from your body. That's it. That's it. Keep your fingers together. As soon as you separate your fingers, it actually is more distracting. So keep everything very extreme. And that's all stuff I would have never considered. So this is like yeah. tricks of the trade. Yep, yeah. absolutely. Keep your head and chin up. Okay. Yeah. So then for your side pose, where did you have a question? Uh, no, well, we'll get to well, heel height. Uh, we talked about five inch heel. I remember yeah. you saying it's not mandatory, but everyone defaults to that. Everyone defaults to that on a competition stage and very flat on the front. Yeah. If for, for figure and for bikini, you have um, the ability to have um, more. Uh, and, and that's, again, we're not talking about going all the way to competition, no. but we're telling you what the competition girls do. Yeah. So for your side pose, um, you want to just turn your body slightly. Okay, so the turn in your waist is actually going to create a bit of a streamline effect. Um, and it, when you're straight on, it's just, it doesn't create any curve. So it looks very flat. So it's just a, a slight turn. And then with your arm, you can either put it straight beside your body, uh, making sure that you're always allowing the space open, or you can have it slightly behind your body. And this is going to allow you to flex the shoulder as well as the arms slightly. Don't put your arm on a 90 degree angle. It's not flattering in any, any way. Yeah. Okay? Um, and then with this arm and this shoulder area here, you can actually tilt your body slightly. And it just creates this nice it kind of shows shape. it all off. Yeah. It shows it all off. You'll be able to see the top part of your chest as well as the arm in the back. Okay? Same thing, fingers together, heels fingers together. Fingers together, heels together. Uh, with your legs, you can have a slight um, bend in your knee, not don't overbend. Um, and then with the back leg, you can actually pressure it against the front leg. So it can allow you to actually pop this quad out more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. okay, so then the back. Yeah, Do you have yeah. questions? No, that's good. Okay. The back pose, remember to remove your hair. <laughs> Same thing with the shoulders, a little, a little bit, but not a lot. So it's a little bit um, through the way, through the back. Uh, you want to slightly flare the lats. Um, a curve in the spine is good. What you're doing is pushing your glutes out and your hands out. Okay. So the idea is that if you don't do that, it becomes very flat mm. and harder to see. When you push it out more, it accentuates the right areas the right way. So the crude way of saying this is kind of stick your butt out? Stick your butt out a little bit, um, bend over just slightly like you'd be doing deadlift. Okay, yeah, so kind of at the beginning or end of the deadlift. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now what about some simple stuff like in the magazines, like a, kind of a, a relaxed, like the type of shot we'd use in a, in a typical ad? So for an, an ad or any kind of photo shoot, a uh, couple of uh, tips. Always make sure you pop one side of your hip. So your right or your left, depending on what's your better side. You never stand straight on. It's not flattering for anybody. So from here, I'm going to pop backward. You never pop your hip forward. It's always to the back. Lean inward more toward your shot. And then again, you can either have your hands here on the sides. One up, one down. One up, one down. Make sure you're always flexing slightly in your pose. You never want to not be flexing, um, but it doesn't have to be over accentuated. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. And then, and like Lauren said, it, you choose the side that works. Choose Try the side that works. Try yeah. 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 Okay. Um, if you are going to do on the front, you can just make sure that you just pop your hip outward. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. And that's and now that's a trick of the trade. You'll never see an ad where a model just stands straight on. They're always never. doing something. They're always doing something. So if you yeah. want to look like that, which is fair, I don't think it's being deceitful. I mean, that's the guy. That's what everyone sees. Yeah. So this is how you do it. Yeah. And then, do you have any other recommendations on how to find poses, or really just just look through for what you like? Uh, posing um, a couple of areas if you're behind, you know, the camera for the first time. Um, your suit or you know, you can always look for somewhere to hold. It's easy, and then you can flex slightly yeah, if, yeah. if there are no um, props. Mm -hmm. um, 
You can look at uh, um, grabbing a dumbbell. Yeah, what about that? You, what, what would you do as far as like workout stuff, like with some dumbbells? Workout stuff, I mean, you can use the dumbbells. Uh, always flex um, within the motion. Hold it before you take the shot. Mm -hmm. um, you want to always make sure that you're, you're flexed but not overflexed and in the motion. So it, yeah. it should never be, you know, at the bottom. Oh, so somewhere in the middle. Somewhere yeah. in the middle. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 And that's okay. Yeah, I see. So is there, is there anything, any other tips, or is it just just look through what you like and then take a bunch of shots? Um. Well, uh, you can also make sure that your face, um, in addition to the body, you want to make sure that whatever you're expressing in your face is going to match. So you don't ever want to not be smiling. Um, you want to look like you know you're not trying to make the pose. It should look very natural. And then as far as like tanning and makeup and all that sort of stuff, what get, what's the cold notes on that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the quick uh, and condensed, uh, let's see, make sure you have a tan, always. Uh, you never want to shoot without a tan. Because you'll, you'll look as white as that paper. Yes, yeah. and I actually do have a spray tan on right now. Just yeah. um, and makeup wise, if you can hire an artist, it's great. If not, um, take a short tutorial, go see a um, a cosmetician at a counter, at a makeup counter. Um, oh, and, and they'll know what to do specifically if you're going to be on camera? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, depending on the type of makeup you choose, MAC is obviously a good place to go. Um, uh, but pretty much every, every cosmetician will know the basics of a photo shoot or what to use. Uh, and then um, practice, 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 practice. Just always. Um, be looking for inspiration from other places and try to emulate it and that's how you get good and shoot as much as you can. Okay, so I think, thank you very much, I think that's good for now. So that's your posing tutorial for, and this is for the Venus Index, all the, all the different levels, so level two, um, open, level one open, and transformation. If, if you want to go through and use what Lauren just said, that's how you're going to decide, or that this is how you should um, structure how you're going to pose and then like what, what we discussed find pictures you like find anything you like it, look through the other uh, pictures that previous winners have done everyone's gotten creative and come up with um, something new that surprised me and don't forget we do have the cover model category um, so definitely if you think you're in the running for that uh, do some poses with some workout stuff grab the dumbbells like lauren said be like halfway through the, the exercise whatever the exercise is and you might actually end up on the cover of one of our next meetings. Awesome. Right.